solve the equation 2 raised to 2x minus 10 into 2 raised to x plus 16 equals to 0. Uh -huh. So So the equation is 2 raised to 2x minus 10 into 2 raised to x plus 16 equals to 0. So for us to solve this equation, first of all, solution, we shall let let k equals to 2 raised to x okay so this is our our k so if that is the case we also need to express 2 raised to 2x in terms of k we know that uh, 2 raised to 2x is the same as 2 raised to x times 2 raised to 2x the laws of indices therefore if this the this is k this is k so this is the same as k times k is the same as k squared therefore we are saying that um, 2 raised to x 2 raised to 2x is the same as k squared Therefore, this equation then becomes k squared minus this 10 times k to minus 10k plus 16 equals to 0. Now, this one is a quadratic equation. We ask ourselves that two numbers, when you add, you get 10. When you multiply, you get positive 16 the two numbers are we have negative 8 negative 2 therefore we have it will be k squared minus 8k minus 2k plus 16 equals to 0 you can now factorize this and factorize that the common factor between k squared and minus 8k to be, to be k, here we remain with k, minus here we remain with 8, minus the common factor between 2k and 16 will be 2 into k, minus 8 equals to 0. Therefore, here we have k minus 2 into k minus 8 equals to 0. Therefore, we have k1 here, or we have k minus 2 equals to 0. So k1 here equals to 2, and then this we have k minus 8 equals to 0. Therefore, k2 equals to, to 8. So we have two values of k. a is 2 and k is 8. But then we go back and say that uh, from here we say that k equals to 2 raised to x. Therefore, 4 for k2 equals to 8, this will be 8 equals to 2 raised to x. We express 8 using its factors. 8 is the same as 2 raised to 3, which equals to 2 raised to x. This and this will cancel, so we remain with x equals to, to 3. Then we also have for k1 equals to 2. 
which is this one what would be the value of x we substitute here so we have k is 2 2 equals to 2 raised to x this is raised to 1 this and that cancels therefore x equals to 1 so therefore we have two values of x we can say x1 equals to 1 and x2 equals to to 3 so these are the two values of x thank you for listening and watching